Hi guys, I thought I would vlog today. I know it's been, is this the right one? I know it's been a while since I've updated you on the baby, on life, what's been going on around here. So I thought today I would vlog because I always say I'm going to vlog more and you guys always ask me to vlog more and then I don't. So I'm really trying to like work on it. Half the time I just don't know what to film and what is that interesting for you guys, especially until we have the baby here. I feel like our life is not that interesting. But hopefully you enjoy this video. So right now I'm just getting ready to run some errands. Oh, I'm so out of breath. That's like the number one symptom, honestly, is that I'm out of breath. I'm going to be at 34 weeks tomorrow. And I say this all the time, but it's so like frustrating to me that I don't know exactly when he's coming. So the waiting game is real. And I know he obviously shouldn't be here in 34 weeks. But it's so weird to think like I could have a baby in three weeks. I could have a baby in six weeks. Like, I don't know. So, and obviously that is not that long. It feels so far away and it feels like it's in an hour at the same time. One thing though, I do think I have sciatica pain and it's not horrible. It's just annoying because a few weeks ago it started. If I put like all of my weight on my left leg, I could feel it right here it's almost like the top of my left side of my butt and like the bottom of my back it feels like a ruler like it feels like there's a ruler just like stuck there i don't know how else to explain it and it used to be if i had all my weight on my left side like if i was putting on pants or something it would hurt and now it's sort of all of the time but it's not like that bad so hopefully it doesn't increase i'm sure it will i know that's like sort of how those things work is it slowly will get worse it's not like a sudden thing um i've been okay sleeping too i read on a pregnant app that at this point like 75 percent of women have a little bit of insomnia and i haven't had that problem i've always been like a really good sleeper once i'm out i'm out so i'm really hoping i don't have insomnia i mean i feel like that's sort of it seems like that would almost happen to everyone at the end because you're just like waiting and waiting and every little thing you're like is this it so as of yet i haven't had any insomnia a lot of you guys have also been asking about the classes that we're taking and honestly we didn't go last night um and the one we're in right now is preparing for childbirth i feel like for people like me it's just not a good idea because it gives me so much more to worry about than i wouldn't have even thought about and last night it was like a practice labor it's a two and a half hour class it's a long class and it was like a practice labor session. So for almost the entire time, we would be like pretending we're in labor and like laying on the floor. So I said to Chad yesterday, I was like, I don't really want to go to this. Do you want to go to it? It's one of those things like it's helpful. Of course it's helpful. They tell you a lot of information, but there's so many more things to worry about with all of the information. For example, I know so many people have a tear. It's inevitable if you have like a vaginal baby. Um, if they come out that way <laughs> and so they're like it could happen this way it could happen this way it could go this far it could go that far and i'm just like i don't want to know that i want to know like it's very likely and they will figure it out and take care of it and it's going to be fine i don't want to know like it could be this bad it could be that bad so i thought for the last one it really seemed like it was not for me they showed us how to give a sponge bath at the other ones and um like a few things about c-sections a few things about an epidural and all of those things so i felt like i got what would help us but i did not want to sit there for a few hours on the floor and pretend i was in labor i feel like it's just not a good idea for someone like me like they wanted us to practice breastfeeding with a stuffed animal and i'm like i do not want to sit in front of 30 people and pretend i'm breastfeeding with a stuffed animal that to me is just it's helpful but it's weird at the same time i'm not like super focused on what i'm doing so i know they have a lactation consultant at the hospital and i know we can have one that comes to our house which i probably will do that too so yeah
So here's his snail. I'll take the cover off. Um, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know what these things look like. They all look the same. So it came in yesterday. It's so insane to see this thing in my house. It makes it feel really real. It is a little bit wide since the legs point out. It probably seems fairly normal on camera, but it takes up a fairly good amount of space. So I might have to switch sides of the bed. We haven't tried this in our room yet. We just unboxed it last night, put it together. We downloaded the app on each of our phones. I can never remember what anything is called. Um, swaddle, is that a swaddle? I don't know. It says on here. Snoo sack, smart sleeper snoo sack, smart <laughs> sleeper snoo sack. And it comes with one in each size and then it comes with one sheet. They do offer a bundle separately and it's one of each size and then it is two of the sheets. And I got that because I felt like that was important. I don't think we could have only one size of each sleep sack if he spits up on it. Or if something happens, then I wouldn't have a sleep sack in the middle of the night. So I felt like it was really important to at least have one extra. So yeah, here's all the sleep sacks and then all the extra sheets. And then it has a sheet on it right now and the small sleep sacks. And I keep telling you guys I'm done with his laundry and then things come in the mail or we get a few more things. So last night I washed all of these blankets and folded them. I'm going to put that back in his room on a shelf in his closet. I washed the cover on the My Breast Friend, I think that's called. It's like a nursing pillow. And then I washed a nursing... Oh my gosh, I literally cannot think of it the simplest words. What do you call this? It's a nightgown, I guess. <laughs> I washed this in his laundry detergent. So right now I have two pants sets for nursing pajamas, like a top and a pants. And then I have a dress, and I feel like three is fine. Um, I did get a medium in all of them, and they all seem like they run big. So I guess I'll just be swimming in them. But I'd rather it be fairly loose than really tight, obviously. So not worried about looking real cute. Just want to be comfortable and practical. So yeah. And a few things in here. Um, I haven't made our bed yet. I'm going to wash the sheets when I get home, so I'm just going to leave that for now. I started shopping for postpartum and for our hospital bag. I'm going to do videos on those, so keep an eye out. I see a lot of questions asking for that video. I might be pre-filming that and posting it when he's here. I really am trying to start pre-filming and it hasn't happened yet and I feel like those would be really good videos to pre-film. So I've been doing my research and trying to get like everything that I will need. And then we did get a bouncy ball and at one of our preparing for childbirth classes, they said that this is really, really good because sometimes they want you to walk around in the middle of the night and of course everyone's exhausted in the middle of the night so if you are sitting on this and bouncing they think you're walking around and also if the baby is really gassy then you can hold them with their back on your stomach and like prop their legs up and down slowly and that's supposed to help with gas while you bounce so i will link this we bought it on amazon we also got one that has a base like this because i feel a lot more comfortable sitting on it with that and secure since i'm not as like stable right now obviously um, and it's the same thing that that is made out of. So yeah, I'll link it if you are having a baby. I know a lot of you guys, or at least several of you guys are having a baby. I also bought these on Amazon. I will link them. I know it's like so, so cheesy, but they are adorable. And I saw an Instagram blogger, she had this on. And so I looked it up on Amazon and I got one for Chad too. They come in a few colors. I think there's like red. Um, there's a light blue, like a baby blue. Those are the ones I chose though. And here's what I'm wearing today. If you want to know where anything is from, watch my Walmart video. All of it is linked in that video. This dress is really pretty. It has like a scalloped edge on it. It's a little wrinkly because I wore it for a few hours yesterday, but I didn't even leave the house in it. So I'm going to wear it again today. And then a really cute belt and an out of breath pregnant woman. <laughs> and then I'm wearing a denim jacket with a leopard print. So... I might wear, I'm probably going to wear sandals actually. I should wear something a little more supportive, but sandals are so easy to put on. And I'm reaching the point where sitting down and bending over and tying shoes is uncomfortable. So not really worth it. One more thing to show you, and then we're going to head out and run some errands. And this is going to make me look a little bit crazy, but I don't care. So there will be family staying with us when the baby's born. And I want to make sure we have 
things for them so they're comfortable. So I went to Costco a couple days ago and stocked this fridge up with so much stuff. There's tons of waters and I thought these waters were like a standard size water bottle. It was stacked in the packaging so I couldn't tell. So it's a lot of like really little waters which is annoying and I never buy water this way for home. Um, however, I want people to be comfortable and have what they need. So I did it for now. There's iced coffee in there. There are these cranberry things I've been drinking. It's like sparkling um, and then there's sparkling waters. There's Coke, there's Diet Coke, there's Coke Zero. I don't even like soda, however, I feel like everyone does except for me. There's mango juice in the back. I'll probably get a few more things, but if people are coming to help us, I just want them to know that like we are thankful and all of that and have things for them. So that is that. And I also did get some frozen pizzas. I know Chad is going to want to cook for everybody. And so he will do that. Some of you guys are asking if we're going to make frozen meals and I asked Chad if he's going to. That's like his thing and he said probably not because he can whip things up randomly with what we have. He doesn't really have to think ahead that much and we can do like home delivery for the groceries and all of that. So I don't think he's going to make any freezer meals but I did get frozen pizzas because that is so easy. It's a little messy around here. I'm going to clean it up when I get back and when I throw in laundry. Um, what am I looking for? One of these bars. I really like these RX bars and I always throw them in my bag when I leave because I get hungry so suddenly. I'm going to bring, uh, which one should I bring? Peanut butter and berries or chocolate chip? I think I'll bring the chocolate chip and I'm going to bring these grapes from breakfast. I didn't finish those. We just pulled up to Target. I'm about to run in for a couple things, but more importantly, can you see what's behind me? Um, I have the car seat, or I keep thinking about the car seat. I have the stroller back there and the car seat adapter, and that was sitting in the living room for at least a month, probably a little longer. So finally, we were like, okay, where are we gonna put this thing? And I think this week we're installing the car seat in Chad's car. It's a lot smoother than mine, so I know for the hospital, that's the car that is a lot more practical to take. Um, and then, oh, I wanted to ask you guys, the first time you left the house with your baby alone, I was watching a Casey Holmes vlog and she said she left for the first time at six weeks. So that will probably be me at the earliest. I know I'm gonna be super freaked out having him like alone out in public and how I won't be sitting next to him, obviously I'll be driving, so yeah. If you could write that in the comments, if you're a mom, I'd really appreciate it. I'm like really, I don't know. I feel like first time moms, it probably takes a while. And then second, third, fourth, and et cetera are probably like, oh, five days a week, whatever. So yeah, I'm just like really curious, but let's go inside. Look what I found at Walmart of all places and I almost left. I went to Home and Garden or like the outdoor section and they didn't have any. And then I went over to food and they had these at the front of the food entrance. I'm about to set everything up, but here's a little rundown. Sorry, someone is, I don't know if that's a leaf blower or what, but this is basically what I've got going on. I still haven't seen white pumpkins. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if you just have to paint them. Um, summer flowers are going away. 
So I'll let you know what this looks like after. Trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own 29 years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame But how long can I keep up the pace To fool myself I don't need grace snack break I ate way too much of this boards and cheese with carrots and then I had an applesauce pouch it's from the Costco brands I'm sure it's intended for like a toddler but I really like these for a quick snack and now a little haul of what I picked up from Target the first are these little slippers how cute are these there's only $7.99 and they are extremely soft um, one of their Prego tank tops in white. I have this in black and I really like it. And then a few things I'm going to leave at the front door is like a hint hint for when the baby is born and people are over here. So the first are these wipes. It's a disinfecting wipe. And then the next thing are these from Windex and it is a phone wipe essentially. Honestly, I don't know if this can be, I mean, I'm sure that can be used on phones, right? I don't know, I just feel like it's obvious that I want people to wipe off their phones kind of thing, considering it says that on there. And then the last thing for the front door is a hand sanitizer with aloe. And I also picked up a shave gel. I have used soap, like regular soap, for forever for shaving. And I'm trying to step it up, you guys. I don't know. I got shave gel for the first time in a very long time. I have yet to try these on, so I don't know if they fit. I'm pretty sure the last size I got from the Target brand was a zero because it runs so big. And these are a two. They didn't have anything else. And I say I didn't know better, but the truth is I was weak and scared, afraid of the blame. One thing I really do not feel like doing right now is cleaning the house. I'm trying to be so much better about keeping up with things, so I'm going to set a timer for 20 minutes. Whatever I get done in that amount of time is what I'm doing today. Everything else is going to wait until tomorrow. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. I will not keep up the pace To fool myself, I don't need grace mm -hmm. Will you be there to catch my fall? Need to be sure Show you. 
if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. I'm going to end this video here guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you want to see in my next vlog i feel like i never know like what to share so let me know hit the like button if you enjoyed this please subscribe if you're new there are recent videos below and more and i will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video bye